of course since lts version 2 is out and you also talked about you know you also work on a, in a very agile manner on the zoe releases it's too early but you know if i like hey what are the things that are in the in the kind of pipeline of the project that you're like hey this is the next thing that we're working on this is really exciting oh wow looking to the future i love questions like this so we've just launched a project called zoe chat and that really excites me because if i if i think about how i do my day job i'm right now i'm sitting at my macbook and i have two other monitors i have three monitors i have email I have my web browser uh, where we're doing this from. I also have a chat client. I happen to use Slack. Microsoft Teams is very, very popular. There are other ones, you know, Mattermost and Skype and things like that. So a lot of the form factor now that people use to interact with the mainframe is chat. So people chat and they say, you know what? I want to ask, collaborate on solving a problem. I'm a developer and, I, and, I, and I'm not quite sure about something and I type something in a natural language, and that's something really exciting that we're just really proud. We just launched Zoe Chat, so so that for me that's kind of the next um, I don't know the, the next form factor for 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 computing for mainframe computing is the ability that we can get chat and natural language. So we're really really excited about that. That's something that we're really looking forward to. Sort of, and we talked to a few customers, and they're really excited as well. 